Well, hello everybody. This is Street Outlaws No Prep Talk. Today we're going to talk about the latest news: Chris Rankin's new pro-charged Camaro for No Prep Kings. Now, photo girls directly to it. Photo owners, please subscribe and comment, and stay tuned for a lot more videos coming, all about the Street Outlaws No Prep Kings race series and all the other Street Outlaw shows. So, check out Chris Rankin Racing on YouTube. He uploaded a video literally an hour ago. Pretty much telling us how he got this car and what's the plan with it. But it is official. He has a new ride for No Prep Kings. And it's very interesting where this car came from. So a while back, Scott Taylor started building a new Camaro for NPK to replace Track No. It was a much lighter car and it was better built. It's basically an updated Track No. So he actually sold it. He never really even put a drivetrain in it or anything, I think. And he sold it to Ryan. And then Ryan sold it to Chris Rankin very recently. So it has a Pro Charge Hemi. It doesn't have an MH7. It has an MH5 Pro Charge Hemi. And a 140S1 Pro Charger. So basically a winning combination, even though it's not the latest from Proline. But hey, he may upgrade later. But it's still a really nice piece. It'll still go 370s. It still makes a lot of power. So it's definitely a very competitive combination, as we all know, from Proline and Pro Charger. And it is in a 6th generation Camaro. So we have another 6th gen Camaro with another Pro Charge Hemi in it. So yes, definitely not a unique combination. But if Chris has to do this to be competitive on MPK, well, hats off to him. Because he did something different from what he had that was not competitive. And now he should be doing much better on NPK. So the Conquest is out of the question for NPK. Even though I like the fact that that car was something different. It just was not competitive with the Twin Turbo 41X combination. It is fast. It's really fast. It's just not consistent. And it can't apply the power on the track like the other combinations. So there's less and less turbo cars on NPK. At one point, I believe, back in season three or season four, mostly everybody was turbo. I believe season two, season three, everybody was going to turbos, but that changed. And now everybody is getting away from turbos. So there's only a handful left. I mean, Birdman, Dominator, Maybe Jeff Lutz if he actually runs turbos. Chuck Sidesinger. But there's very little turbo cars left. So I'm excited to see this car run. It's definitely a really good built car. And I'm sure Chris will get a handle on it really quickly. And he will be going really fast on NPK now. And he will be a contender. So let's see what happens.